Hello everybody and welcome to another of my videos on Dungeon Crusher Soul Hunter. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I am starting to re-record some of my older videos that had really terrible sound and so um, now I'm continuing that process. So uh, at the end of the last video, uh, before I had to take my phone call, um, I was in the middle of uh, gathering resources and upgrading my heroes. And so as you can see, uh, my screen, my game has gone on its own for a while. I suggest this uh, frequently because, um, you know, as you step away from the game for an hour or two, you will get a whole bunch of more gold. I think I was only offline for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, but um, we have a lot, lot more gold. This is also going to give me a chance to show you guys some of these other buttons up here, okay? So this button we're not going to really use right now. It doesn't come into play until you have one of your guys maxed, um, but you can switch this between all your heroes, which is defaulted, um, ones that need to be upgraded, uh, or... Uh, I can't, or I can't remember what the last one is, but the last one is the one that I use uh, the most frequently when I'm playing um, in my advanced game. So the other thing you can see is right now we have hit this spot where um, it says beat the boss. The reason why it's doing that is because uh, what happened was I came up against a boss that I could not kill. Uh, in normal time with my hero's current strength. So let's go ahead and take a look at this map, right? Um, so the map shows you where all the bosses are, right? So every five levels, like I was mentioning, um, you will hit a new boss. And um, as you go through the levels, if you can't beat that boss on your current hero's strength, then um, it'll stop you and go back to the previous level and then just keep going and beating those monsters to get you coins okay now the other thing on this map here um, you're gonna see this little button here that says auto advance uh, you're gonna want to keep that on as much as possible but when you do hit one of those bosses that you can't beat in the time frame given then it'll uncheck it and you'll go back so we're, let's go ahead and click that it's gonna bring us over here uh, to the boss and we're going to want to try to kill him. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to increase my guys as much as I can. Um, in order to beat this guy so that we can move forward. All right, so there we go. Now we're off on to level 11. Okay. Um, all right, so as I mentioned before, you can see this little plus here, which is means that it can go up to the next ranking. Uh, so if we actually click through here, we can either do 1, 10, 25, like by increasing their level by that amount, 100, the maximum number, instead of just doing 1, which is usually where I'm at, or next. Next it can be helpful, but only up to a certain point. So um, if I click on next and I hit that guy, so it automatically got me up to the next bonus for him, which was 25. And then there's 50, 75, 100, 125. And then once you get up to here, that's when next isn't going to help you anymore. Okay, that's where you want max instead of next. Same thing with Abe, right? And so, you know, here's 25, 50, 75, 100, 200, 1,000. So once you get to 200, well, even past 100, you get that every, tw uh, or after 200, you get every 25 levels, he gets a damage increase. And so once you get to 200, then um, doing next is not going to help you. Uh, you may want to switch to 25 or max in order to start giving him levels. Uh, while we're in here, let me go over this screen for your hero. So you can upgrade your hero right here. And this is also, you can do 1, 10, 25, max, and next here as well. So let's go ahead and hit next just to get him up to the next one. Um, but you can you can upgrade them in here as well as out on this screen. Uh, the biggest difference is you got to be careful um, when you get your guys to the max in here 
because um, then you have your rarity and this will allow you to upgrade the rarity for in-game currency, okay? Uh, which you might click on accidentally and would be very bad if you waste your in-game currency, okay? So here's your in-game currency. You have bottles and you have emeralds, okay? Now, uh, the thing about, oh, uh, while we're at it, these are, these are hearts. Uh, I don't actually know the name, so I just call them hearts because it looks like a heart. And then souls. So souls become important later, but we'll get to that after a while. Um, but these emeralds will help you buy heroes and upgrade these heroes as you get more advanced in the game. And so if you're at a point and you want to save your emeralds and you accidentally click there, let's, sorry, let me see if I can't. Beat this guy. Nope. Not gonna be able to beat that guy. Oh, here, let's hire Tom. See if that helps. Nope. Right, if we hire, we get. Nope. Still not gonna be able to beat him. So we're gonna wait on that. Um. But anyway, if you if you have been collecting emeralds. Uh, in order to be able to hire a new hero, uh, which I'll show you in just a moment, um, and you accidentally click on it, then you wasted those emeralds, and now you have to collect them more time. Uh, it takes more time to collect them, okay? Um, I think I'll do the hero purchasing in a different video, so let's not worry about that. Uh, here are your hero stats. As you're doing it, um, your hero's race and then your hero's class. Uh, each one of your heroes does have a class and they give you rewards based off of how many you have. This is mainly for your clan mine and then also for your league. So let's not worry about that right now. Okay. Um, the other thing is, as you go through this game, um, you will find items. Okay. Um, and so as you collect these items, um, you'll be able to upgrade your heroes here as well to give them stars. The stars then appear underneath their portrait. Those stars are not very important until you get into like very, very, very much later in the game. By the time they're even worth doing, um, you're going to be so far in advanced in the game, you're going to have so many of these that... Uh, you won't even have to craft them. So um, don't craft them. All right. Uh, I will do a video later showing that and what crafting is all about. Uh, but in the meantime, just remember, don't craft equipment. Okay? Okay. All right. So um, I think... That is all I wanted to go over with the intro to the map. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Let me click on this. So we found a treasure cave. Excellent. So these will pop up every so often on your treasure map. Um, there are good ones and there are bad ones, but let's go ahead and click into this and see what happens here. Um, so again, we're just killing monsters. I don't even have to click right now because um, because uh, it's killing them for me. I don't know what just happened there. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Let's try this again. It says next. Level two, all right, level five. Next, okay, and so as you can see up here, it tells you how many monsters you've killed on that level. It's not what monster you're on, but how many you've already killed. And you have to kill that many monsters to progress. So in this treasure cave, I'm already at level four. And now we're on to the boss, so it seems like a typical thing. Alright, so what this did is this gave me an artifact, a special artifact, 
artifact uh, for a strong crossbow. So let's hit next. We'll go back here and we'll let that do its thing. Let's go over here and click on artifacts. <laughs> I'll make a, uh, excuse me, I'll make a better video on this, but increases your hit damage by 150. So, we might be able to kill this guy now that we've got a higher hit damage. Alright, great. Um, okay. Now this is going to take us into our next, our first episode. Uh, so I'm going to end this video right now, and then uh, I'm going to go and do uh, an episode. Uh, I'll create another video for episode one. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please let it go at the uh, leave your comments at the bottom. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.